Welcome guys with me again Point Mark 8. Today we are gonna uh, playing companion mission. This uh this is the part one, so we are gonna see every character in here. There's a three character in here. So the first one we gonna see uh Lucia. It's mis this mission is called a Night Stranger. So Lucia, the cryptic uh, outworld merchant merchant. Looks so similar to that person. Who? Looks like it's job for gen uh, genius detective March seven. Okay, so we gonna go to this mission. Let's see. Uh, some sergeant. Okay. Uh, let's see. How many of them? Okay, three. Uh, Lucia, uh, Bailu, and Yanchi. So, the first one will go to Lucia. Here we go. Uh, navigate. Um, okay. So, we're going to go. We, we're gonna go to Janjo. Okay, loading is a bit uh slower. I don't know why. I guess. Uh, I will uh. I will close some browser. Yeah, it's it's help a bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, too much browser. Time to log off. I mean, okay. uh, head back. Drop by the realm, keep it. Household registration always takes forever. Okay, here we go. The how? Okay, this is kind of like a story. Not some random mission. I'm here to help with the investigation. Oh, so you are. And these would be... Miss March 7th and Mr. Yang, I presume. Yep. <laughs> That's right. I'm the first one. He's the second. We're here to help. March, try not to sound too excited. We're here <laughs> for work, remember? Yeah. Oh, you're the one getting excited. Oh, my first detective case. Finally, my intelligence and wisdom have a chance to shine. Miss March, Mr. Yang, I've been looking forward to meeting you. Make yourselves comfortable. It, one moment, please. Jing Yan! Give me the photos! What? Oh, Jing Yan, not Jing Yuan. Wow. Coming, coming, stop yelling! What? The, the voiceover sounds similar with... With Mars 7, what? <sighs> Thanks for okay. waiting. These are the outworld uh, travelers who were sighted in the location specified by the general and the master diviner. This was two days before the ambrosial arbor came back to life. Okay. We'd like you to take a look. Do you recognize any of them as a threat? Let me take a look. Hmm, so these are the suspects. Uh-huh. Hmm, I see. What? You know something? What? <gasps> you know! What's wrong, Mr. Yang? See anything fishy? Mr. Yang know about Lucia. Ah, that's why they have some uh, 
uh, the same uh not path a uh, same uh, uh imaginary thing who's he i'd like to see more information on him which one L let me see yeah, anything we see is one of them a threat let's kick some butt so we can yeah, anything we see I thought we talked about copying people. I don't have any concrete evidence, but I think he's worth checking out. Okay. Oh, him? I remember him. He's a traveling merchant. He trades throughout the universe. Knows a thing or two about remedial arts, too. He registered okay. himself on the Xianzhou as... Uh, what is it again? It again? Locha. His name Locha. is... Locha. Oh, Locha. Oh, not Lucia. Locha. That's right, Locha. Locha. Came to the Sienjo with a huge box this time. Some sort of funerary contraption. It had a funny name. Something to do with coughing. And it was pretty conspicuous. I had to ask him about it. A contraption. A coffin. Coffin. Tool yeah. That certain non Xianzhou travelers seem to use in death rites. I'm guessing our guests here might recognize it. Huh. <laughs> I swear he said coughing. Anyway, we checked him out. His record <laughs> on the Sienjo was squeaky clean. As for this caffeine thing... Caffeine <laughs> thing. Coffin. Yeah, yeah. Either way, it definitely had something to do with funerals. There are lots of travelers on the Lawfill, each with their own star system and death rites. I guess that death must right. be Wilch's line of work. Is there something up with him? Not necessarily. But I have my reasons for wanting to investigate. What was he doing in the days leading up to the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection? Hmm. That's complicated. Come with me to the four square mirror. It'll be easier to explain. Exalting Sanctum is one of the Lafu's crucial central cities. The higher ups are very concerned about security issues here. That's why there are so many Psychranes stationed in the area. Locha arrived on the Lafu a few days prior to the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection. Okay, a few days. That's Until quite day uh, suspicious. The there was nothing suspicious about his behavior. Oh, I figured it out! The day before the resurrection, he appeared near the Ambrosial Arbor with a Stellaron. Eureka, that solved everything. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess. You're pretty smart. Sometimes. Bruh. <laughs> you lot are enthusiastic, I'll give you that. The reason I mentioned the day before the resurrection is because we have no idea what he did that day. Ah. The resurrection brought about unusual yin-yang phenomena that caused the entire Psycrane system to malfunction. The image data from the day of the incident is beyond restoration. restoration. The data from that day before was badly affected. What did you just ask him? We will, in due course. But we can't be too general. Specific questions are key. Not to mention, without a clear suspicion, it would involve multiple interrogations. So, if you feel this Lacha is suspicious in some way, make it known. Then I can arrange for his detention and interrogation. Okay. How should I put this? He just looks kind of... Uh, Mr. Suspicious? Yang, you were going off of his appearance this whole time? I thought you had some super secret thing up your sleeve. Uh, didn't your mom ever tell you not to judge a book by its... Cover? <laughs> it's apparent. You look pretty handsome to me. I it's uh cover. Sorry. Yeah. What I mean is hmm, it's difficult to explain, but my instinct tells me this law cha is involved somehow. Somehow. Apologies. Uh, I realize this is personal speculation. That's all right. Instinct is an important part of any realm keeping commission investigation. There are times when my gut tells me something's not right, 
And there's usually a reason for it. I'm with you on this one. Be that as it may, as an official, I can't go bringing someone in based on a villainous appearance. Yes, yeah. Because if a complaint led to his dismissal, it would leave a blemish on his resume, making it difficult for him to advance his career for the next few centuries. Centuries. No. What are you talking about? <sighs> anyway, if you want to investigate, I can grant you access to the Foursquare Mirror. Jing Yan, you'll be assisting our esteemed guests in their investigation. Ugh, isn't it inappropriate for an officer of the Realm Keeping Commission to assist the public in investigating someone? Ah, not at all. Not at all. Make sure you don't leave the commission. Just help them check the sight crane footage. Keep okay. me updated on progress. If you find hard evidence, I'll be there in a flash. One thing though, don't approach him. If you make a discovery, contact, contact me, me first. first. Okay. We're thankful that you're entrusting this to us. We'll keep it by the book. Don't worry. The express crew keeps its promises. We won't disappoint you. <sighs> okay. Jing Yan, over to you. I need to get going. Understood. This might take you some time. Come and find me when you're ready. Bar. the video recording the cyclone took the cyclone the crane household registration always takes forever okay I will teach that later but to oh That's a name from a uh, uh, old story, Ibn Batuta. A dragon lady? Oh no no, not not right now. I will talk about that later. Okay, let's talk a bit. Uh, well, I owe you two an apology. My speculations have gotten us into a delicate situation. situation. Yeah, I'll treat you to some Sienjo delicacies later. Okay, I want a full grand on garment piece. <laughs> With my series, I always do this. Yeah, right. Anyway, since when did investigators shy away from delicate situations? I did want to say something, though. Um, I don't think Mr. Yang is the kind of person to make a judgment based only on instinct. Yeah, man. Why did you say that? I think so, too. Mm, it's not something I need to conceal from you. As you know, there are infinite worlds in this universe that can be similar yet, yet different, different from each other in various ways. In various ways? The same is true of the people on those worlds. What? That's why it's possible for us to run into individuals on multiple worlds who what? share an appearance but not a personality. What? For all we know, in some faraway world, March's adorable face might belong to an intergalactic pirate. <laughs> I know she was a <laughs> uh, Hey, he was just giving an example. I'm the nicest girl in the galaxy. However, in most cases, their fates will walk a similar course. Okay. I've seen two people who looked almost identical to this Law Cha. They okay. were not of the virtuous persuasion. That's really? why the moment I laid eyes on him, a chill ran down my spine. Okay. March is right. We shouldn't judge a book by its cover. But I can't overlook this. I don't want to force you into trusting my judgment. But? but... What are you talking about? Of course we trust your judgment, Mr. Yang. Right? Yeah, that's right. We believe in you. It is... Isn't our trust in it? That's right. We believe in you. Here we go. 
I'm glad you believe in me, truly. But the problem remains. Will the Realm Keeping Commission trust a judgment based on this logic? No. <clears throat> From a Xianzhou legal standpoint, the Realm Keeping Commission is unable to accept a judgment like this. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that we distrust you, Mr. Yang, but we cannot act on groundless, groundless accusations. Yes. I hope you understand. Of course, we raised the accusation. We will carry the burden of proof. Of proof yeah. Oh. Trying to persuade. Persuade. I owe you two an apology. My speculations have gotten us into a delicate situation. <laughs> I'm... I did want to say something, though. Um. <laughs> gut fe mm, It's not something. As you know, there. That's why it's. However, in most cases, their fates, that's why. What are you talking about? Of course. It isn't our trust you need. You're right. The key is whether the realm keeping. <clears throat> From a... It's not that we do. Of course, we. may be new to the Sienjo, but we're already investigating the mysterious disappearance of Luocha. Okay. They're acting like weird today. <laughs> I spirit today. <laughs> yep. I always dreamed of a head scratcher like this. A chance to showcase my detective genius. I've been familiarizing myself with the angler mystery lately. I think it's safe to say I have the best investigative mind on the express at this point. The Angler Mystery? You have good taste, Miss March. The Angler Mystery is a classic detective novel on the Sienjo. I read it when I was young and dreamed about working in the Commission ever since. I didn't think it would be attracting new readers over 200 years later. A oh, fellow reader! But Miss Ching Yen, the author, Su Fang, Fang, was the lead medical assistant in an apothecary. And the main character, the angler, is a healer. healer. Why didn't you want to join the Alchemy Commission instead? Uh, a number of reasons. This job may be trivial, but I have my reasons for being here. Plus, <laughs> the threshold for the Alchemy Commission was too difficult, difficult to, me to reach. <laughs> well, I see. But your lives are so long. Shouldn't career change be easy? Mm, I considered it once. That was a long time ago. The longer I stay in this job, the more I understand, I understand its purpose. purpose. Fighting crime, helping the weak, solving the problems no one wants to touch. It's a satisfying feeling. Wow! Good for you, Miss Ching Yen. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Sounds like you really care. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Mr. Yang, really good. <laughs> I saw Iron Man. Pretend to be an officer. To be an officer. Hmm, there is something. Household registration always takes what? forever. Okay, I will not uh, read it. I can bring up the data anytime from here. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, follow me. Red, red rip the footage. As official Dahao mentioned, the arbor caused unusual yin yang phenomena, which affected the entire Cycrene system. Okay. We lost a lot of video footage, and for the image data we recovered, the timestamps are all jumbled up. Look, this is Mr. Locha on the day prior to the resurrection. Okay. Uh, so we have to clean up and reorder the footage ourselves? Exactly. Thank you again for your help. Uh, this is your forte. Over to you. <laughs> My forte? Say who? I need the genius detective. Here we go. That's right. And you're the sidekick. Bruh. Oh, 
Hey, there's a time in here. Stage one. What's the next one? What? Okay, I need to. Sword in hand. He pays in with nothing but a sword in hand. I don't see any sword. The taste too. Wow, of small in. Without any happy luggage. Yeah. Spare time book. After a while. Perhaps he didn't buy anything. Okay. Stage 4. Ah! With coffee and just looking into the distance at the dog. Exalting something. Maybe he just left a star cave. He is waiting for a new star cave. He walked along the dog for a while and put aside his uh, luggage. Leaning on the railing and watching Starkey passing by the dog. Oh, what do you think? Any idea what the correct order is? One, two, three, four, I guess. Yeah, I wanna see the video again. Sure. Which one do you wanna watch? Footage one. Okay. But sword in hand. Okay, this is the first one, number two. Number two. Two, With nothing in his hand. Perhaps he didn't buy anything. Nothing. But before there is footage too. Without any happy luggage. Yeah. Two, three, two, three. Two, three, four, one. We sword. Is that heavy luggage? Three, one, four. Not three, two, not three, two, four, two. Two, three, one, four. Hmm, 
2314. Luocha emerges from the inn, goes to the spare time bookshop, turns into an alley, then appears at the dock with his luggage. Yeah. I know. He must have found a treasure map at spare time bookshop. He went into the alley to dig it up and then went home with his newfound riches. On second thought, <laughs> nah, this order feels awkward. Try arranging it again. Hmm. Why? What did they for? Is this order really correct? Luocha turns a corner, but the corner leads straight to an inn. Then he exits the inn and goes into spare time bookshop without buying any. And then he runs to the dock and picks up some. Uh, this doesn't seem right to me. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Maybe 3 2. Yeah, 3 2 1 4. Uh, really? That... So Luocha enters spare time bookshop and then the inn. But leaves moments after empty handed. Then he turns a corner into a dark alley and then goes to the dock with all that luggage. Do you think he captured someone and put them in the coffin? That's quite a conjecture, March. The Sienjo scans all luggage moving into and out of their territory. It'd be nearly impossible to pull off. Not to mention, when Lo Cha turns the corner, he doesn't have the coffin with him. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Looks like this order is still a little problematic. Wow, this one? 4-2? Really? 4-2? Uh, let me see if this order works. Hmm. Wucha exits the star skiff, enters exalting sanctum, goes into an inn, and puts down yeah. his luggage, including the coffin. Then he goes to spare time bookshop, but doesn't buy anything. Finally, he leaves and turns a corner into a dark alley. The logic in this is sound. Looks like the correct order. Wow. Huh, nice really? Work indeed. Your sidekick to a genius detective after. Where does this corner lead to? I checked the map and found a gate in this open area. Look, there's a small dock on the other side. He may have left on a star skiff. Why would he leave Exalting Sanctum via a secluded dock? That's so suspicious. Yes, yes. I don't think Mr. Luocha could have departed from there. The dock you're referring to is Yun Shou Crag 999. It belongs to the Seat of Divine Foresight. It's only used during invasions. Invasion? What? That's why that gate is almost always locked. As far as I know, it's been locked for centuries and only gets opened for occasional inspections. The key question is, when did he leave? There's only one gate in this area, at least on the map. Miss Jingyan, does the remaining footage show anyone else entering or leaving this place? I can find out, but you'll have to wait a while. Most of the footage was lost, but at least there was a whole day of recording. There's a lot that needs checking and confirming first. Understood. Thank you. Thank you for hard work. When run. Oh, yeah. Thanks Here we so go. much. We'll be waiting patiently. Patiently. Your assistance in this matter is what requires gratitude. I'll get you what you need as soon as possible. Yeah. What's new? I oh, yeah, had this mission. Okay, we need to talk to her, I guess. Okay. Thanks for waiting. I checked all of the footage we have of the open area. I say all. A lot of it was lost. Are the corrupted okay. parts recoverable? Can we use the same methods again? For some of them, maybe. But I can't guarantee anything. I'll do my best, of course. It'll take more time. I can't hand them over just now. 
Thank you. Did you find anything in the remaining footage worth paying attention to? Hmm. Only that someone left the area through that exit around two hours after Locha's appearance here. Locha's nowhere to be seen, though. What? There's two suspicious person behind this uh, girl. I think there is a girl that uh, blind, if I'm not wrong. Two hours after Lucha appearing here. Nowhere to be seen. So. Uh huh? It, isn't this a scene from the Angler Mystery? This novel goes to your head. What are you talking about? Uh, the Angler Mystery! The novel! There's a scene that's identical to this footage! What? Now that you mention it. Uh, I'm not sure I follow. Uh, the Angler's origin story, of course. He's a healer from the Alchemy Commission who gets on the wrong side of a mysterious organization called the Tea Society. Two agents in dark clothing wait for him to be alone and then poison him. The drug has the same de-aging effect as the Vidyatara's hatching rebirth. The Angler gets younger and turns back into a child. From there on out, the Angler pursues the Tea Society while solving all kinds of strange cases. And with Amara. It wouldn't. In the book, the drug only de-ages the body. It can't repair damage to the soul. In okay. other words, it's like molting. Not a true rebirth. Not true rebirth. Okay. Patching rebirths are specific to the Vidyadara. Can humans also experience de-aging? Uh, it's just a novel. Who knows if something like that could happen in reality? I thought of it as soon as I saw this footage, though. Su Fang, the author, was a medical assistant in the Alchemy Commission. The medical principles of the novel are strictly grounded in reality. Someone from the Alchemy Commission was suggesting it could be done, then there's always a possibility. So, March, what you mean is, the two people in dark clothing are Tea Society agents, and the child is a DH Locha? Oh. Oh, what? Crazy angler mystery fan decided to commit a copycat crime. Luo Cha gets turned into a child, then follows a mysterious duo in black. Oh, the plot thickens. This could be a kidnapping. <sighs> the child in the footage has black hair. Yeah. Luo Cha Which hair is blonde. blonde. I don't know if she might look a blonde, but maybe he just going gray with age. Ah, uh, yeah, makes sense to me. Hold your horses, everyone. I recognize this child now. That's Yin Shu, the yeah. young shopkeeper at Spare Time Bookshop. Too Ooh. bad, March. No de aging, no angler. No angler. And child is a girl. Remember Julian in Bellbrook? Oh, yeah, Julian in Bellbrook. Yeah. No, no, this is completely different. The Cycranes weren't able to get a clear look at the two people in dark clothing. Let's ask Inshu. Maybe she saw something. The sick rain aren't able to get clear. I'll keep trying to recover the lost footage. All right, let's go. Time to interview the witness! 
Ya, yeah, Julian. Household registration always takes forever. Hmm. This quite crazy detective. Uh, a type of story. Drop by the Realm Keeping Commission if you need help. Shopkeeper. Uh, let's look for her in the area. Business hours aren't over yet. She should be nearby. You two go ahead. I'll wait here in case she comes back. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Oh uh, no. I think this is the door. When he come out, I think he. My dad is an ace pilot. He finished the gray sky. It's quite similar, but uh, with short hair. Where is she? Not far, but I cannot see her at all. Not far. your head in it can share the skin of beast Okay. Confirm. What? You get this uh, chassis and ready up. Come and get in. Then you find it. Click surface. This tank you give is too precious for me to hold onto. There in suspicious at To me yourself. This is not what I bought. Yeah. 
give form the fast. What's on not this? Where is I don't see any child. Ah, here we go. Uh, looks like Yin Shu isn't here after all. Where could she? Huh? A supernatural tales anthology? Sounds like a good. Wait, so you're still reading traditional literature? Investigate. Move on already. Web novel. <gasps> A new edition after so many years? Looks like I made the right choice coming to the Lafu. As soon as we've cracked this. Hmm. Uh, so she asked someone to look after the shop for her. But where are they? Uh, hey, mister! Are you manning the counter for the young shop? Huh? <laughs> young shopkeeper? You mean young- Um, can you please- <laughs> Why sh- uh, Because we're asking nice- <laughs> I can tell you- uh, Pay you? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. No one ever tell you- uh, This guy doesn't seem like- We have no money, but we can pay you with a uh, bit down. About lying. Uh, yeah, I guess. In your dreams, this is genius detective. Yeah, 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 same difference. Hey, up. If you lie to us, <laughs> I'm not that kind of person. Come on. Yin Shu said she had a voucher for her food stall over an exalting sanctum. She wanted to use it before it expired. You know, she's not been gone long, probably finishing up her food right now. Oh, 500 strails. 500. Oh, my purse is... Ah, man. Yeah, man, 500. Ah, oh, man, I made a mistake. Wait. So ah, just thinking we are using... Man, I made a mistake. You two go ahead. I'll wait here. We'll be back soon. Ah, oh, man, I... I made mistakes. Next time, I will not... Paying anymore or anything. Are you Yinshu, the shopkeeper at Spare Time Bookshop? There's something we want to. Yeah, that's me. Can I help you? You're heading back to the store, right? Let's walk and talk. I'll... Oh, uh, okay. Okay. That footage, I remember that day. After I closed up the store, I walked around for a while. I, I found that empty area. It seems like a good reading spot at first. But then I noticed two people dressed in dark clothing. And so you just happened to be going the same way. Did you see? Mm, sorry. I was only trying to find a place to read. I didn't pay much attention. To All I remember is the two people in dark clothing. Uh, they smell pretty bad. I guess that's not much of a clue. Sorry I can't give you any useful information. On the contrary, any information you can give is valuable. Thank you very much. Still, according to the Psy Crane recordings, Rocha's final stop before heading towards the- My store? Spare time bookshop? You're sure he came to- Oh, he came in, looked at a few titles, and then handed one to me. An old paperback. Everything seemed normal, Back. but after paying for it, he immediately tore off the title page. I was shocked, but he was grinning ear to ear, so... Ear to ear what? I dare ask him about it. I thought that, he just left the book on the counter and went on his way. 
I can't believe I'd forget something like that. I guess the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection the day after pushed everything else to the back of my mind. So, what was the book? The Angler Mystery. I was wondering what to do about it. I can't sell a book without a title page. But uh, since you asked about it, here. Uh, Mr. Yang's instinct was right all along. Lo Cha is a villain. How can he do this? Tearing up a book as well written as the Angler Mystery. I did Lo Cha tear out the title page. If I knew the answer to that, wouldn't that make me as evil as him? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're forgetting that the Realm Keeping Commission was initially investigating whether someone brought a dangerous object. The How and the others are probably not aware of what that dangerous object might be. But we know for a fact that it's the Stellaron. I think that by removing the page, Law Cha may have provided us with a key piece of the puzzle. It's a puzzle? I don't understand. What does tearing out a page have to do with the Stellaron? Are you following Mr. Yang? I think so. At first, but there has to be more of it. Yeah, maybe the page will mean something to his complaints. Exactly. I think Lotcha may have friends on the Law Fu, and they're using the title page to communicate. Uh, that makes him even worse! How dare he use a book that praises justice for his evil plans! I'm afraid evil plans are still within the realm of speculation at this stage. We have no way of knowing exactly what he- So, is this a dead end? Ah, here we go. There is some, um, text. Recording, here we go. Okay, please be careful on the way. Ah, that's more like it. New clues always turn up in the nick of time. Man, next stop, I will not pay anything, man. Crazy. Five hundred. always takes. Just thinking with ticket, man. If ticket, I just pay. So we now know what time Lord Cha left the open area. Nice. You found footage of him leave. Yes. According to the Psy Crane recordings, he left the area two hours after he entered. Uh, strange. Why spend two hours in such a confined area? He must have been up to something. I'm gonna stop you right there. Refined wardrobe, elegant bearing. He may be a villain, but he doesn't look like someone who'd give up on finding a bathroom, even in an emergency. Huh, it's a shame no side cranes are installed in that area. We still have no idea what he was up to. This Lucha is getting more suspicious by the minute. Psst. Yeah, man. I know Mr. Yang never wears his heart on his sleeve, but do you get the feeling he's a little restless? Concerning, maybe, yeah. I have a bad blood. He mentioned, yeah. Remember, we're talking about different worlds here. However, I can't deny I'm a little worried that what happened to my home world could befall this place too. Uh, how does he always hear us? Well, I'm afraid I have some other business to attend to. Let me know if you need anything. You know how to reach me. Uh, thanks for the help, Miss Ching Yen. So. What did Law Cha get up to during those missing two hours? I think it's high time Detective March took the gloves off. 
Oh? And what do you have in mind, detective? Fieldwork? That won't be necessary, Mr. Yang. As the angler once said, a true detective operates as effectively from their armchair as from the scene of the crime. I'm too lazy to explore the map. It's too early to start field work. We must wait until my deduction is complete. Then when we arrive at the scene, you'll see that the facts match my theory to a T. Oh uh, no. Well, uh, seeing as you're so confident, let's give your idea a try. Uh, yay! <laughs> Mr. Yang is the best! Household registration always takes forever. Detective Show. Detective Show. Um. Ready? I'm gonna start my reconstruction. Hey, good, let's okay, do Okay, here we go. <laughs> Explaining a theory in front of everyone is more nerve-wracking than I expected. We should enter in this uh, hidden corner and stay. May encounter. Okay, quantum physics. Ice, I guess. Yeah, quantum basic eyes. Ready? Uh, okay, here we go. Yeah, let's go. Oh, Lucia! Ooh! Nice. Basic. method reconstruct what happened from the bad guy's perspective okay and now I'm Lucha what of necromancy what is this deduction or necromancy Ugh, quit messing around I'm thinking Oh, almost forgot about that title page. He took it with him, so it must have had some significance. Uh, next up, I need to have a look at that map, Mr. Yang. Hmm, he must have gone through that gate up ahead. No way he would have stayed put in such a small area for two hours. But Miss Jingyan mentioned that gate is a military asset. It's locked all year round. Yeah, uh, you not. think that would stop the likes of Luocha? What kind of Stellaron smuggler would he be if he couldn't get past a door? <laughs> you think a lock like this can stop a girl like me? What? I think I'm actually going insane. Immersion, yeah, I'm losing the immersion. <sighs> Fine, I'll be me. You guys will have to imagine his lines instead. 
Such a rudimentary lock. Easy pickings. Even yeah, here we go. was able to unlock the door. What was his goal? His villain friends must have been waiting on the other side to buy the Stellaron. He went to meet them. Where are you going? We're trying to trace Law Cha's move. Okay, okay. Oh, come on, man. Don't, don't stop. What? Why are they stuck? What? Ah, it's stuck. Okay, got it. Bruh. Here we go, I guess. Yeah. Man, why so hard? Now that I think about it, something's not right. Why would they rendezvous at a military airfield? Because, uh, well, we're too law abiding to understand bad guy logic. Hiding in plain sight, perhaps. Hold on. This would have been too quick a route. And? What's wrong with a quick route? Hmm? Ahem. What's wrong with a quick route, Mr. Yang? We're trying to uncover what Law Cha did during those two hours. But even if he repeated this route 20 times, it wouldn't have taken him that long. That long. Ah, true. He must have had a tougher journey than I imagined. Oh, come on, let's start over. What? You look like a tasty morsel. Those who dare to enter here must face... Ha! Your eyes are bigger than your stomach, foul villain. How about you? Why is the monster talking now? Uh, you know, just a little dramatic effect. Bruh. Don't mess with me. Rules are made to be broken. So you are afraid of me. Let's go. Oh. 
my god. Let's settle this. of the past what was that I can attack him <laughs> it's imaginary let's see Let's make it quick. Ah, yes, a bit. Rough. Let's settle this. <laughs> in the name of Landau, a will forged in ice never falters. I'll end your misery. Let's go. To be broken. Destroy. Ah, oh, man, no. Don't mess with me. I should use a uh, basic man. I should just use uh, the ability. The sea of butterflies. Bruh. Illusions of the past. Let's make it quick. Heck, Dad. You chose the wrong enemy. So you are afraid of who's next? What are all these enemies doing on the La Fu? It's Same question. Because, uh, because, because, because. March, you don't have to add in combat scenes while you're figuring out where to take the story. We can wait. What? I cannot change? <laughs> what a headache! This is our chance! I'll see you off! <laughs> Afraid of me. I'll free you from your chain. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Good. Rules are made to be broken.
Okay, we come back here Monster again. layers in black market spaces. Uh, I doubt the law foo has any of that. At least I doubt things of that nature existed before the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection. Uh, is it really so far fetched? We're already assuming that Luocha came here to sell the Stellaron to a bunch of cutthroats. May as well throw in some monsters here and there. Or an action movie. The angler is both a detective and a fighter. Bruh. Anyway, it's not like we're gonna be able to conjure up exactly what Luocha ran into. Why not use our own interpretation to bridge the gap? Hmm. I suppose that makes some kind of sense. I, uh, I try to go with the flow. I didn't expect this place to be so treacherous. I'll need to be on my guard going forward. I wonder <laughs> just who is the buyer interested in the Stellaron? The buyer is waiting there. Time to head over. Plausible. Looking at the map, this place is well hidden. Okay. <sighs> Finally! Mr. Yang approves Detective March's theory. Let's see where this leads first. Stop right there. State your business. What? Uh, no. That's Puar, the tea society's gatekeeper. Isn't Puar a type of tea? That's right! He's a member of the tea society, so naturally he chose a type of tea as his alias. <laughs> hey, I'm talking to you. What's your business here? Can you tell him to be less aggressive? <laughs> uh, oh, sure. Excuse me, sir. May I ask whether you're here on business or... Never mind. I have a delivery for your boss. I need to give it to him in person. If you could let him know I'm here. Okay. Delivery? Ah, yes, the delivery. The boss is waiting for you. I'm afraid I'll need to see some ID first. I ID. wonder if Locha has something prepared for this moment. What is this? Which one? I cannot you really tell. Trying to persuade. Pattern to be officer. Bribing. Uh, bribing, I guess. Here, this is all I have. Ninety-six million seven hundred and twenty thousand credits. Take it. Take it. Bring me to your boss. You think he has spent his lives at one As a thought. You know how evil doers can be. Sometimes Bruh. they have a higher purpose than just money. It's only natural he try everything to achieve that purpose. No can do. If the boss found out that I took a bribe, I'd be in big trouble. Hmm. Oh, seems bribing isn't an option. When it comes to minor details, March's logic is actually pretty good. Oh, how is this? <laughs> It's an important link in my deduction. <laughs> That's funny, man. That's funny. <laughs> okay, which one? Trying persuade, yeah. You see, I'm selling this Stellaron to bring food to my dear family. Or we'll all have to starve tonight. So, be a good chap and do me a favor, will you? 
<laughs> Good tab. <laughs> Outstanding family man, shouldn't he? Stop doing so in the first place. Ah, oh, this is Luo Cha's trick! Feign weakness to get the gatekeeper to lower his guard! I can't do that. Why bother making rules if everyone can just ask for a favor? Oh, looks like this isn't gonna work. Huh, didn't take Puar for a man of rules. Uh, don't forget! He's modeled after you, Mr. Yang! I tend to be OP, sir. My apologies. Truth is, I work undercover for the Realm Keeping Commission. I have important matters to discuss with your boss. You need to bring him to me, now. Working undercover dressed like an outworlder? <laughs> you think I'm stupid? March's logic does seem to improve when it comes to minor details. <laughs> I'm always logical! And nope. based on my deduction, pretending to be an officer isn't gonna work. What? Title page? Sincere uh, request, intimidation. Oh, that's the code. So you're the one. Wait here a moment. I'll call the boss right away. Take your time. Puar takes the page and goes to find the boss. Before long, Luo Cha sees an imposing figure walking towards him. Boss, this is the one. He brought the delivery. I'll be the judge of that. What, Pompon? Pom. No, I couldn't think of anyone else to be Mr. Yang's boss. <laughs> this is our boss, Startaro Bubble. Let's see this delivery. <laughs> Startaro Bubble. <laughs> Man, start our bubble. <laughs> <Milk tea. laughs> so what? This is the tea society, remember? Not before I see the money. I'm sure you understand the rules of such a transaction. Save it. Show us the goods first. Easy now. The item in question is extremely dangerous. It's understandable that our friend here wants to take extra precautions. I'm not sure Pom Pom is the best casting choice for a gang boss. <laughs> well, <laughs> well done. <laughs> uh, it it kind of works, right? Who are? Give him the money. Happy now? Ready to hand it over? Man, I, I'm so. Be careful. Dangerous is an understatement with this item. I'll take my leave. Okay. Yes, you will. Permanently. Who are? Get what? rid of him. <gasps> Man. Pompon is so evil! Man! Man, Pompon is look evil! Crazy, man. Look like me! <laughs> oh, this was all going so swimmingly. Selling a dangerous item to me makes you my accomplice. And I've got too many of those. To keep our little secret safe, I'm afraid I need to take Special measures. Man, wow, <laughs> quite that deep when you think about it. Man. When it comes to minor details, March can be very logical. As for the rest of the story. Speaking of which, when did I turn into an aromaton? <laughs> That's 
Kuar's little secret. He transforms into an Arumaton in dire situations. I... Okay. Huh. And there I was, thinking you gangsters still had some decor. Great. Eternal sleep is not the end. The dead return! What a headache. Oh god. I'll see you off. Oh. In the name of Landa, a will forged in yes. Never falters. Okay, destroy it. Butterflies. Illusions of the past. Let's go. Oh, not yet. <laughs> There you go. I'll Good. Misery. One more time. You from your disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Treason. What? One more time. <laughs> Let's make it cry. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Yikes. Man, everyone. Who's next? I'll end your misery. Boom. Thanks. Repay. Eternal sleep is not the end. The dead return. Here we go. Back that. One more attack. I'll free you from your chain. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Darn it! This isn't over. <laughs> this isn't over. An exalting sanctum. Cloud knights could show up at any minute. Better get going. And so Locha has to make a break for it. But where to? Let me have a look at the map. Aha! Gotcha! <laughs> that was... Trouble ahead. Proceed. I'm with you. What? There's monster? The Cloud Knights will have been alerted by now. Put to the dog. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, oh, great. Let's go. Wow. You chose the wrong enemy. Nothing major. Don't mess with me. Good. Let's make it quick. <laughs> what a headache. 
This ends here. Treason. In the name of Landa, a will forged in ice. Never falter. Never falter. Okay, I think I will uh, pause this one so you will see after I'm finished fight. Okay, I'm fighting with uh, the enemies. So all clear. Let's see. Halt! Who goes there? Ah, uh, enemy again. His only escape. Climb aboard, Luata. Time to get out of here. Okay, someone. So Luata hopped on a star skip and fled with the help of his accomplice. And that, ladies and gents, is the truth behind Luata's disappearance. Really? Really? That's... So, who was piloting the star skiff? I'm not sure either. The pilot didn't show themselves, so let's just assume it was him. Wow! See my face. <laughs> no one gets left out of my stories. March, as much as I enjoyed your deduction, I do have a few questions. Question. Yeah. For example, if La Cha took flight from the dock, how could he appear in Psycrane footage two hours later? Also, uh, yeah. the dock is a military installation. The Cloud Knights would be on the scene at the slightest disturbance. How did so many monsters show up without warning? Last but not least, even if La Cha did encounter all of the troubles you describe, it wouldn't have taken him two hours to escape. Yeah. Oh, you're right, Mr. Yang. I guess I can't compete with the angler just yet. You know what? Yeah. Time for some field work. Maybe the answers Bruh. to our questions are waiting for us at the scene. Family matters are that strange. might be the best approach. Let's go. Let's go, bruh, man. Dude, <laughs> look at the free fall now. Ugh. March, March. By the realm keeping commission, if you need help. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, mm, let's go. Talk to her. Inquire. Excuse me, officer. We're looking for someone. Can you help us? <sighs> he's got blonde hair, and judging by the way he's dressed, I'd say he was an outworlder. Outworlder, okay. An outworlder with blonde hair? Could it be? May I ask why you're looking for him? He saved our life! Wow. Since when did we start sharing a life? Back in? We're not Back and forth. <laughs> Back and forth. <laughs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Would this blonde-haired, life-saving outworlder bear any resemblance to our suspect here? Oh, that's him! What? Mr. Locha, he rescued both of us. Can I ask when this rescue occurred? It was the day before the Ambrosial Arbor came back to life. We were planning to thank him properly, but in the aftermath of the Arbor incident, we never had the time. Are you two... Oh, the people in dark clothing? What's with the wardrobe change? 
Dark clothing? Wow. No, oh, I know what you're talking about. What a pair of clowns we are. Dark clothing. Dark clothing. <laughs> we Dark clothing. fell into a ditch. Wait. Bruh. What? There we were, looking for a spot to practice our new routine. We found a place, eventually. A little dilapidated, but nice and quiet. <sighs> I lost my footing and slipped right in. My associate here, Forth, yelled after me, Don't panic! Forth's got your back! Two seconds later, he landed on my back. Okay. Unfortunately, the ditch was connected to a sewer outlet. We were Rock. covered head to toe in... Anyway... I assume that's why you thought we had dark clothing on. Ugh, no wonder Yin Shu said she had to cover her nose. Anyway, thankfully Mr. Lorcha was passing by and dragged us back to dry land. It took all his strength, I'll wager. What did Lucha do exactly? A thousand, A thousand things, thanks, kind stranger. stranger. Without your bravery, we'd never have gotten out of that ditch alive. <laughs> no, sir. That if you ever need anything, and it's within our power to help, you can count on us. Even it's beyond our power to help. That's too kind of you. It was nothing, really. Oh, yeah. Nonsense! You went out of your way to... Don't worry about it. You should head back home now. Take care. Take care. No! We can't thank you enough. Oh, one moment, both of you. That sewage could well contain harmful compounds. I'm something I'm sure. of a doctor. Let me give you a prescription. Make sure to use the medicine and get some good get rest. There you go. Okay. I don't know what to say. Uh, sorry to trouble you. <laughs> uh, we'll take our leave now. Be careful on the back. Wouldn't want to find ourselves in another ditch now, would we? Here, that's the prescription he gave us. A paper flower? It's beautiful. Did Luocha make this? What? That's right. He wrote down the prescription and folded it into shape. <laughs> A man of romantic sensibilities, one might say. The paper looks familiar. Can I open it? Yeah, it's a, a book, oh, book, book uh, title. We'd already opened it when we showed it to the pharmacy. Uh, we were planning on handing it over to the Realm Keeping Commission. We suspect it's probably our best chance of tracing him. We can take it off you. We'll let you know when we find him. Let me see. What is it? It's the title page of the Angler Mystery. Yeah. The prescription's on this side, but on the back there's... Uh-huh. What on back? This secret oh, code? Sadly not. Take a look yourself. To the next reader. The killer is Chang Hong. The nephew of Chang the Nine. Your sincerely. Best regard. The immortal spoiler. Wow. The killer is Chang Hong. The immortal spoiler? Ugh, some people just want to watch the world burn. I'm starting to think the Locha we envision doesn't square with a real one. Would a villain do a good deed like this? Ugh, so he paid for the book and tore off the title page to protect people from the spoiler. Oh, wow. Wow. He must be a fan of Wow, he too. a good person. I mystery fans couldn't be bad. Man, he Lucia is a good person. You may come across Lucia when it to express. Oh, Lucia. Oh. I have Lucia now. Lucia Pepper Flower. Oh, man.
A perfect detective. Not really perfect though. <laughs> well, seven. looks like the whole thing was just a it's big misunderstanding. Yeah. Indeed. And I've learned not to judge a book by its cover. Anyway, that's enough reflection for one day. Let's get going. Uh, get going to where, Mr. Yang? Garden of Gourmet. You two deserve... Uh, yay! Mm. I should talk to Mr. Yang first. If you need help. I think that's it. Uh so I will make another video for another character. Yeah. So thank you so much for everyone watching this video. So basically Lusa is a good person, not bad at all. So thank you so much everyone. I'm playing see you again next time. Bye.